and the pressure we were talking about in the long squad. Louisville plans to turn it up quite a bit tonight. Inside us all lies an immeasurable force, pulsing, wild, waiting to be set free. It's the spirit that inspired one of three dynamic driving modes on the 2014 Acura MDX. Tuesdays, Cat's Corner is on ESPNU. As our resident hoops guru breaks down the biggest stories in college basketball and chats with some of the top analysts, players, and coaches in the country. Cats Corner, Tuesdays at 1 on ESPNU. Back to Tampa. The Sun Dome 17 to 6. Louisville with the lead. Number 12, Cardinals led by Rick Pitino. And uh, boy, he has just been so prolific in providing jobs for his assistant. They're all over the country. Tim, why is that? Well, first of all, he's one of the best teachers in the game, but he also puts a lot of pressure on his coaches to act like a head coach and think like a head coach, not act like one, think like a head coach every day, and uh, he puts them through relentless training. And I'll put, that's a nice way of putting it. When you work for Rick, if you can survive it, then you deserve to be a head coach because you've learned under the best, but also had to work under the best. Mick Cronin, who he'll see twice in this conference, Billy Donovan, Played at Providence, a Kentucky assistant from 89 to 94, Steve Massiello, who's got Manhattan at the top of the Metro Atlantic right now. Marvin Menzies at New Mexico State playing well in the WAC, and uh, you may remember this name, Richard Pitino, Minnesota, got a big win over Ohio State. And uh, if you look at Kareem Richardson at Missouri, Kansas City, actually Saturday there was a Western Athletic Conference battle between he and Menzies, first sent back Arizona State. Free throw goes down. We still have more. I mean, we can do this all night. Tubby Smith, Texas Tech, 89 and 91 in Kentucky. Reggie Theus and Kevin Willard as well. And Seton Hall no longer a conference opponent. But that doesn't even include the guys in the NBA like Jeff Van Gundy, who's a former Petito assistant. Well, they all should give 10% of their checks every year to Billy Donovan. Because none of this would have happened if Billy Donovan wouldn't have brought Providence to the Final Four. In 87, that's what Jeff, that's Jeff Van Gundy's philosophy and theory. That's what he said. Uh, young Richard Pitino, great win over 